Have you ever pondered how countries navigate the turbulent waters of international trade? Particularly in the face of economic sanctions and fluctuating dollar values, how do nations keep their trade afloat? The answer, for some, lies in an innovative approach known as the Local Currency Settlement System, or LCSS. The LCSS is a system that allows countries to settle trade in their own local currencies. For example, India is preparing to use this system for trade with Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and China. The beauty of LCSS is that it enables exporters to be paid in their own local currency, rather than the dollar, which has traditionally been the common currency for international trade. Picture this. An Indian importer wants to buy oil from Saudi Arabia. Instead of paying in dollars, the importer pays in rupees to their bank in India. The Indian bank then communicates with its branch in Saudi Arabia to convert the rupees into the Saudi rial equivalent. This amount is then paid to the Saudi exporter. Noticeably absent from the process is the American dollar. You might be wondering why countries are keen to adopt the LCSS system. Firstly, it reduces transaction costs by eliminating the need to convert to and from the dollar. Secondly, it reduces the risk of being impacted by sanctions such as those recently levied by the United States against Russia. Lastly, it enhances the international status of local currencies and trade in domestic currencies may increase as more countries adopt LCSS. Although the idea of a common currency among BRICS countries is fraught with complexities, the adoption of LCSS offers a viable alternative. It's speeding up the shift away from dollar dependence in transactions between member states and other BRICS allied countries. So, could a new BRICS currency challenge the dominance of the US dollar? How might this shift in economic power dynamics affect international relations? Share your thoughts and join the conversation in the comments below.